Today on Zombie Go Boom, the chainsaw versus the machete. Zombie Go Boom starts now. Using real life settings, we put the weapons, everyday objects, and theories to the test. Learn the best ways to bash undead skulls and to stay alive in any situation. Forget everything you thought you knew about fighting zombies. Zombie Go Boom, kick undead ass. Welcome to Zombie Go Boom's Halloween Extravaganza. I'm your host, Jim Goza, and today we're going to be testing two of the most noted and most desirable zombie slaying weapons, the machete and the chainsaw. So, let's see which one of these bad daddies is best at taking down a zombie, but first, let's check out the tale of the tape. The Latin Machete. 24 inches of spring temper, 1055 carbon steel with a black baked on anti-rust finish. And a 14 inch, 33 cc, two cycle gas powered chainsaw from our friends at Zombies Eat People. Well, with two iconic weapons, it's only fitting that we have two icons to test them out. Are you psychos ready? Uh, all right, first up, let's test them out on our bleeding zombie targets. All right, this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna give the countdown. I'm gonna say three, two, one, go. On go, you take a swing. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Whenever you're ready. I can't work with these nut jobs. Hey, hey, what's wrong, big guy? Oh, yeah, no, I got you, I got you. I always knew you preferred the girl camp counselors, am I right? Do it to it, bro. Hey, all right, good job, man. A single shot decapitation, huh? Let's take a look at the replay. All right, we have the swing. Bam, clean through the neck. Instant decapitation. First off, a quick word about the targets that we use. Now, some folks uh, on our message boards made some very astute observations that indeed, a zombie's skin is not made of foam. Well done. However, these targets are incredibly effective because the hard plastic uh, composite casing that they use is much harder than human skin. You may have actually seen these on FPS Russia, and these bad daddies are built to withstand a thousand rounds of gunfire. So if you can get a machete or another weapon through one of these things, chances are you're going to be doing some serious damage to a zombie. All right, pasty, same situation. I'm going to give the countdown, and when I say go, one swipe across the neck, and that's it. Ready? Three, two, one, go! No! No, 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 we're talking about Again? I can't believe this! How much is this gonna cost me in medical bills? You're paying, buddy! You're paying! Okay, now we're gonna try out the skull analog with the chainsaw. Hey, thanks thanks a lot for this, by the way. On the yeah. <laughs> Okay! <laughs> So, I mean, as you can see, the chainsaw destroyed the skull and everything, so, good job, psycho. Now, a quick side note, when we were doing our uh, stunt filming for our fight scenes, we noticed that uh, the majority of the time, the chainsaw would actually get caught up in a clothed area of the body. So, uh, and it would actually cause the chainsaw to stall out. So, keep that in mind if you're using a chainsaw. Well, we uh, we saw what the old chainsaw could do to one of these things, so let's check out what the good machete can do. Good, good. Oh my God, man! You just you demolished it. As you can see, there was a massive cavity just blown straight into the into the skull. God, look at that. Well done, you're a one-hit wonder, my friend. So uh, so let's look at the high-speed footage, shall we? 
All right, we have the machete swing, and BAM! Look at that, it demolished its skull, left the cavity completely open. That zombie went boom. So after those tests, we have an obvious winner, and it is... a tie. Uh, I'm Jim Goza, that does it for this special episode of Zombie Go Boom. Happy hunting! Okay, I, I didn't want to say this in front of the other two, but there is a clear winner. And it's because of this weapon's versatility, it's lightweight, uh, you don't have to gas and oil it in order to keep it running. In fact, all you have to do is make sure it has a sharp edge, it's, it's just a, a solid piece of metal. Uh, and it won't get snagged in clothing in case you're, you're swinging and swinging and swinging at something. So uh, that winner is clearly the machete. Whoop.